Good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. The rain has stopped. The sun is trying to come out. And here we are for our uh, 8 p.m. storybook reading. And it's an opportunity for me to introduce the readers for the week. I uh, just want to say, uh, once again, uh, we started this uh, to hopefully create a little bit of joy uh, in the world right now um, and to give parents a bit of a break. So last week, uh, we had AJ Cruz uh, from the Ocean, Robin and AJ Morning Show. Uh, then we had the Mayor of Victoria, Lisa Helps. Then we had Jug Singh, uh, MP for Burnaby South. And we ended last week with Michaela Pereira, uh, journalist and TV host. I hope you enjoyed last week's readers, and I'm looking forward to telling you about next uh, this week's readers uh, shortly. So um, I was trying to think of what book I should read for this week, and uh, I read a list of books uh, that were posted, um, books that you might want to read uh, during this time. And so once again, thank you to Monroe's Bookstores who helped me um, uh, with this book. And this book is called Ready to Fly, and it's based on a true story. And it's how Sylvia Townsend became the mobile ballerina. And the book is a story told by Leah Lyon and A. Le Fay uh, and illustrated by Jessica Gibson. So once again, Ready to Fly, How Sylvia Townsend Became the Bookmobile Ballerina. Here we go. We get all the book all ready here. Born with the beat in my feet, I jive to daddy's jazz and sway to mummy's, mama's symphonies. As musical notes start to float, I rise to my toes, ready to fly. She likes dancing as much as I do. When her secondhand TV fills with beautiful dancers, all feathered and fine, I say, I want to do that too. Sylvia, mama says, they're dancing to the ballet Swan Lake. Ballet? Oh, I need to learn ballet, Sylvia says. Can I take lessons? I want to leap. I want to twirl and do, and, and I don't know my ballet term, please. Uh, I'm sure my friend Kim Breland would let me know if I pronounced that wrong. Till I can dance in real ballets. But daddy says, Sorry, baby, lessons don't come free. So I twist Mama's scarves into a tutu and make my own ballet slippers. Dressed and ready, I try and try, but my feet won't budge. There must be another way to learn how to soar. That spring, a bookmobile rose into our neighborhood. Do you have any ballet books? I asked the smiling librarian. Why don't we look together? We search the shelves for the perfect book to give me wings. At home, I begin reading, building my own bar, learning the positions first, second, and third. Each month, a new book adds to my routine. Oh, there's some words again. Jete pirouette. Arabesque. 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 Thank you to my video helper. I feel my wings growing one feather at a time. One day I'll be a flying ballerina too. News of the bookmobile ballerina draws neighborhood kids singing, teach us how to leap and twirl and do plies till we can dance in real ballets. Out on the stoop, I show them my swan light strides and my rising relives. Boy, do I need help with my ballet turn. I'm the one giving the lessons now. My fourth grade teacher, Ms. Spidell, says, sees my swirling steps. Any girl who can dance like you needs real lessons to reach for the sky, she says and offers to pay my way. Mama, Miss Spidell and I set off to see some ballet school, but the first school says too full. School two says no room. School three whispers, it just can't be. 
letting the real reason slip. Ballet is for white girls. Is ballet not for girls like me? These words pluck the feathers from my wings. My dancing feet don't feel the beat. My tutu goes back to being my mama's scarves. I tuck away my slippers and tell the librarian I won't need more books. Look at how sad she is. But my little swans twirl up for their next lesson. They still want to fly. Who else will show them if I don't? Lesson by lesson, we grow more feathers until we sashay onto the school talent show stage in the fall. The best part comes as an encore. Backstage, another dancer says, my daddy thinks you should meet Madame Sawicka. She came all the way from Russia and danced and teaches dance too. Like the ballerina from TV, could this really be? I jump at the chance to finally get my wings. When the day of the audition arrives, I soar through the studio door. Seeing all the mirrors, I freeze. She's feeling nervous. But the, nerve, but the music starts to float and so do I. Rising to my toes, I fly across the floor. Dad's jazz, daddy's jazz becomes a beat in my feet. Mama's symphonies help me soar. And as the last note fades away, I float into reverence. I hold my breath, waiting to hear what Madame Sawicka will say. Smiling, she says, you've never had a lesson, dear? I bow my head, whispering, no. Well, you're a beautiful dancer. Madame Sawicka takes me under her wing, offering me a free place in her school. Every book, every beat, every practice at the bar has brought me to this day. All feathered and fine, I am a ballerina who can leap and twirls and do plies and loves to dance in real ballets. A ballerina whose little swans are ready to fly. And now she has her own ballet school. Let's see what's on the next page. Now, when you look at the back of the book, it tells about the real story of Sylvia Townsend um, and that she was a real bookmobile ballerina. And she uh, has a dance studio, or had a dance studio in Richmond, California. And she had it for over 40 years. And there's pictures of the bookmobiles that used to come uh, onto her street. So once again, this is Ready to Fly, how Sylvia Townsend became the bookmobile uh, ballerina and it's based on a real story. I hope you enjoyed the story tonight. And obviously I need to brush up on my ballet terms. Uh, I never got a chance to do ballet. Um, so definitely something I need to work on. Now, who are our readers for uh, this week? So tomorrow we have uh, the mayor of Esquimalt, Barb Desjardins. She'll be reading tomorrow. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we have Dave Cutler. And he's a former all-star uh, place kicker with the Edmonton Eskimos. Uh, on Thursday, we have MLA Lana Popham, uh, our Minister of Agriculture. And then on Friday, we have Al Faraby uh, from CFAX's Morning with Al Faraby. So those are our readers for this week. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story and nighty night, sweet dreams.